Africa is my everything, you know, because my mother named me Africa when I was born, and sport the name Queen Africa. It was only changed to Africa because everybody in my household had a name that began with the letter I. So my sister was Isis, my brother's Ista, my mother's Ita, my stepdad is Aya. The donkey is Ibru and I come. So <laughs> it was an I-ness, an element that gave me Queen Africa. Africa is where we came from. We are kings and queens from this great, marvelous, beautiful continent. We were brought here into the Western world as slaves brutally taken one day while we're on our chores either gathering wood or in the farm gathered up and brought here as savages until this day generations later we are still suffering from rep, 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 rem, remnants and elements of that brutality that took place and we hope that one day a lot of these big locks artists too we love sing about going to Africa and loving Africa. They don't want to go to New Africa. It's New York and LA they want to go. We need to start looking about going into Africa. We we, we use our own money to send home elders to Ethiopia who see Ethiopia as them heaven. That's where they want to chat from flesh and we pay for them ticket and send them home with them wife and they live in, 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 in Shashamani. These are the things that we want to do. When I go to South Africa and have the privilege of going to Robin Island and sitting in Mandela cell, sitting in the spot where he wrote his book, get some privileges that other people would normally get. That is like me going to my heaven. So Africa is everything to me and the raping of Africa, the Ebola in of Africa and all of these things that's happening to Africa is all a calculated effort to discourage us from going back home to this wonderful place that is truly rightfully ours.